I who the fuck is Con fuck off. Shut up. Shut up. Shut the fuck oh my god. There we go. I just had to fucking disconnect my fucking Bluetooth. Good god, shut the fuck up. A threat on trans women in old age. <laughs> Alicia Brevard, born December 9th, 1937. 1937. Transitioned at 21 and died at 79. She was an actress and lived stealth the entirety of her career. She did not publicly come out as trans until the re release of her memoir in 2001. Fucking crazy, bro. Hey, but they can they can always tell, right? They can they can always tell. They can always tell, right? They can always tell. Well, apparently they fucking didn't for uh, 58 years. But they can always tell. Caroline Cossey, August 31st, 1954, transitioned to 17, is currently 68. I can't tell. Sorry. Um... To all, the, to all the weird transphobes out there. I can't tell. Tracy Africa Norman. She transitioned sometime around 17 or 18 years old. She is about to be 71. Uh, successful modeling career in the 70s while living, again, stealth. First black trans woman to gain prominence in the modeling industry, of course, when no one knew. This shit's crazy, bro. This shit's crazy, bro. But, you know, everyone can always tell. Transition to 16. She died at 65. Former sex worker who became the world's first trans person to become a member of parliament. But hey, yo, we can, we can, you know, pe pe we can always tell, right? So this thread goes on for a while. There's quite a few um, trans women throughout here. Um, and it's like, it's so nuts. Cause like a lot of, a, a, a lot of them, it's like, no, like they just, to be fair, kind of just look like cis women, you know, like who just grew old, you know? So the whole, like, I could tell crowd, it's like, no, you can't. No, you can't. Shut up. You really can't. Here's where it gets interesting. We have a, we have an interesting person here. Three heart emojis. If we don't remember, uh, Ariel Scarcella is a lesbian. She, she's cis. Uh, she's a lesbian. She... Wanting to be the first trans woman to get pregnant so you can have an abortion and be the first trans woman to have an abortion. Also very toxic. I'm sorry. Can I... Uh, can I be toxic for a second? Yo. I'm gonna drop a hot take that people aren't gonna like. Why does... Er, is, is this a condition I'm about to make fun of? I feel like I'm about to make fun of a medical condition or something and get canceled for it, but why does Ariel Scarcella constantly look like... constantly look like she just ate chocolate? Like she looked like she just like dug into a Halloween bag five months before Halloween and was like, yo, this shit fire. I feel like had, she had way too good of a time. I feel like she had way too good of a time with some, with some chocolate. Her face does look weird. Yeah. No, she's not trans. No, she's not. She's a, she's a lesbian cis woman. She might have problems with facial hair, best leave it alone. Ah, uh, she's a turf. No, I, I, um, don't care. Don't care. Don't care. I kind of do care. That's probably... Yeah. 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 Hey, here's the thing. She's, um... I was about to say she's a human being, and then I see one of the top comments on this video. Autogynophilia. Okay, never mind. I don't care again. I don't care again. So, yeah. What's this? Classic liberal. I hate the fact that the far left has stolen this amazing word from us. Classic liberalism used to be for free speech. Free <laughs> Hello guys, my name is Free Speech. Uh, <laughs> I meant to say my name is Elon Musk. <laughs> oh, that's funny on multiple levels. Hi guys. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Elon Musk. And I like free speech, which is why, you know, I let Nazis say whatever they want. This requires me to pull up an old...
bookmark? I'm hoping I got a bookmarked. Oh, come on. Oh, 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 oh. We have Winsicle, who is a fellow member of the Greg Craft cult. It is not fascist to silence fascist people. Silencing fascist speech is anti-fascist. In response to Jefferson Thomas, of course. I'm more of a Sam Adams guy. I, uh, Sam Adams? Sam Adams? Gray. Sam Adams? Are you fucking kidding me right now? Sam Adams guy myself. There we go. A. Hey. I can pronounce words and names right. Sciencey speech period is fascist. Which, you know, is wrong. So here's the thing. Free speech absolutism is brain cancer. A line has to be drawn somewhere. This is true. You want to silence speech in which you disagree. I want all speech to be allowed so I can judge for myself to whom I should or should not listen to. But here's the thing. Majority of humankind is fucking stupid. They judge for themselves in terms of like, hey, uh, this person confirms my predisposed biases or my friends like this person and for the sake of societal or social rather approval uh i'm gonna agree with this person because i won friends um so y y yeah no i'm sorry i can't j trust you to judge for yourself because like more more likely than not like you're just like a fucking dumb cunt and here's the thing you're right i do want to silence speech in which i disagree because there's because the speech I disagree with are things like, hey, trans people are pedophiles. Yeah, I kind of disagree with that, so I would like to silence it because, you know, calling trans people pedophiles and realizing that like the nation has collectively decided to kill pedophiles, that kind of leads somewhere. So yeah, there's that. Which of us supports fascism? You. You support fascism. Okay, the evidence says otherwise. No. Fascism. Wait, hold on. Hold on. I need someone else. I need someone to explain this for me. Y'all are gonna hate me for this. Y'all are gonna hate me for this. I, I don't, I can't read. So I need someone who is a bigger streamer to, uh, to tell me what all this means. Aiden Ross, can you please help? Um, it means you are a far right authorization on you, on, Ultra, is it ultra, ultra analytic? Oh my God! Ultra analyst, anal, analyst, political ideology movement characterized by dictator leadership, centralized autocracy, militarism, for, forcible suppression, suppression of opposition. So I don't know what that means, bro. I swear to God, I don't know what the fuck a fascism is. I don't know what the fuck that is. Benito Mazzuli and Giovanni Gen, Gen, Genitale and Jason Stanley. Like, who the fuck are these people, bro? Never heard of my fucking life. What is an example of a fascist? What the fuck was that sound? I never have seen that. What? What is an Ew. example of a fascist? Oh, Aiden Ross, why do you fucking exist? Oh my god, you're fucking gross, bro. Get the fuck up out of here, bro. Yeah, right. An authoritarian and nationalistic right-wing system of government and social organization, extremely authoritarian, intolerant, or, or oppressive ideas or behavior, very intolerant, or domineering views or practices in a particular area. Okay, so, the, the, yeah, sure, um, but, like, here's the thing. That shit didn't just come up out of nowhere. Here's the thing. I don't have that big of a community, okay? We all know this. I'm a small guy. But I do have an audience. I, I I have people that come through here. What? What? You think they just decided they were like, hey, there's this guy. There's this guy. And and we're going to see him. No, that's not. They, they, they tried me out. They like what I had to say. And they stuck around. I don't know. Kind of like a lot of fucking reactionaries when they first heard Hitler talk. Jesus fucking Christ. It's not like, like, dude, this shit doesn't come out of nowhere. Like, people talk. And people were like, hey, that, that should make that massage my ego. I want to kill Jews too. So like, you know, that's how it is. So of course, limiting that speech would prevent those ideas from propagating. No duh, two plus two equals four. Wow, holy shit. 
It turns out you could suck my dick. These things just make sense and you don't. I'm against right-wing authoritarian government. Me too. So am I. No, you're not, you're for it. I'm also against the same from the left, then you're dumb. Which is where we currently are. You, you, see, you just proved it. The political right has very little power. No, they don't. They have a lot of it, actually. Who's oppressing whom right now? Well, it would be uh, conservatives oppressing, for example, trans people. Because if you can't, like, hey, okay, trans woman, go to woman's restroom. But there's a Karen in there. Cops, they're getting called. Trans woman using men's restroom. Wow, guys, murder rape. There you go. Like, uh, uh, so so now they can't use both restrooms, which is like an integral part of like public society like functioning. Like, if you need if you're out somewhere and you have to pee or go poo poo, you should be able to use the bathroom to fucking do it, right? Well, if trans women can't fucking do that, then you're effectively erasing them from society. Which is textbook genocide. Who's oppressing whom right now? I don't know, maybe the people fucking causing that are oppressing the people who are like directly fucking affected by that, you dumb son of a bitch. I say if they want to be oppressed so badly, let's grant their wish. Uh, I don't want them to come. I don't want them to come. I did everything right and they indicted me. I will not support their cake. True. Absolutely. I will, however, deport them to an island. And if they want their citizenship back, they can swim back. I can tell that you'll just prattle on endlessly because you don't seem to have much else to do but reply. That's fine. I actually do have other things to get to, so I'm going to go do those things. Feel free to continue talking at me. I'm muting so I won't see it. Well... Uh, hey. I'm gonna drop a hot take that people aren't gonna like. You're a pussy. No. It's, uh, you don't want to participate in the conversation because you have preconceived notions and, uh, and confirmation biases that massage your ego that you don't want to stop happening. And so anything that, like, goes against that, you're gonna prevent it from continuing, right? Because that's kind of what cognitive dissonance is. I replied to this conversation at some point. Where did I, where, where am I? Where am I? Ah, there I am. Hey, there I am. So you think Nazis should be able to freely say to the masses, quote unquote, Jews control the world and they're spreading anti-Aryan degeneracy and thus they should be purged from the earth. You think that's justified? Question. If that type of rhetoric was allowed to spread and potentially radicalize others who will spread the same rhetoric themselves and continue to radicalize still others, and that is allowed to continue on and on and on, free speech and shit, right? How will that not end up with anti-Semitic violence, let alone in more stronger, increasingly populated neo-Nazi movements? I found out that you can freeze pasta sauce and it won't go bad. Okay. You know that's how the Third Reich achieved power in the first place, right? What, Nazi Germany just one day magically became fascist out of nowhere? Get the fuck out of here. Free speech absolutism will inevitably allow for incorrect radicalism to take root and promote genocidal rhetoric. If you support free speech absolutism, you support genocide. Maybe some years, maybe even decades later, but it always goes there. And to neglect guardrails on what should be allowed to propagate or not is to neglect society and its very functionality. It's to, to allow Nazi rhetoric makes you a Nazi enabler. And to be a Nazi enabler, Makes you a Nazi. Fuck your free speech. Free speech doesn't exist anyways. Parents, and this is, this is something, by the way, that we need to talk about more so at some point. Free speech doesn't exist anyways. Parents treat their children like they're their property when transphobes speak of parental rights. And so does the state by not granting under 18 with voting rights and thus no freedom to choose their future and thus no freedom. So if you're a real free speech absolutist, then the voting age should be lowered. Doubt you'll agree, though, since you ain't serious anyways. Go to sleep, log off, have a good day touching grass and talking to people in real life. Yo. How am I literally perfection in the flesh? 
I'm gonna drop a hot take that people aren't gonna like. I don't have bad takes. <laughs> My humility just kicked in. Was like, stop, stop it, stop. This is cringe. Stop. Indeed, the Third Reich did gain power through the use of frozen pasta sauce. This is, this is true. Okay, so what does this have to do with what we were just talking about? Well, uh, let's go back to this dumb fuck. I hate the fact that the far left has stolen this amazing word from us. Classic liberalism used to be for free speech, freedom of thought, an exchange of ideas, equal rights, economic freedom, limited government involvement, and individual autonomy. No okay, so, so literally that's not liberalism. That's... Um basically modern day conservatism that's you just described you just described like half of what was talked about during the republican primary not too long ago none of these things are sentiments that leftists believe in anymore so can we please take back the word liberal well maybe being a liberal is like a you know bad thing maybe liberals shouldn't exist maybe it should be just uh leftists and then everyone else is like illegal it's a joke by the way it's a joke kind of a woman receiving cancer treatments was told that she could no longer be a patient after criticizing the trans flag that was hanging in the lobby whether you agree with oh wait i remember hearing about that yeah the date matches up it's uh this is on august 22nd 2023 right this is when she posted this and this is around the time when this story broke out so when we go back to the main point of the segment, it's gonna be a little bit fucking interesting. Whether you agree with transgenderism or not, they should not have- Transgenderism doesn't exist. Can we please stop saying this shit, please? Really? Like, it's- it's fucking cringe. It's fucking cringe. Okay, you- okay. The only transgenderism that exists is, like, what literally, like, every medical, clinical, psychiatric, pediatric, and psychological association agrees on. And it's that conservatives are wrong. Quite literally, um, there is no disagreement in the broader scientific community um, that trans affirmative care is the way to go. Um, and that it, it, whether it's a mental illness or not, I don't believe it is, but whether it is or it isn't, uh, trans, affirmative, trans affirmation is the way to go. That's the way to go. It's not the same thing as like, as like, fucking schizophrenia it's not the same thing as bipolar it's not the same thing it's not the same thing can we please stop with the bullshit comparisons uh. whether you agree with transgenderism or not they should not have the right to take away your health care i mean isn't that what the trans community and trans activists are fighting for the right to do with their body and care for their body the way they deem fit even wait hold on wait wait wait, wait, wait. I feel like you're missing very critical fucking information here. Hold up. Isn't this that one bitch that fucking like was like, uh, uh, what, what, is, what, what, is that trans flag? Is that, is that, is that a trans flag? Like, can, you, can you throw it away? Can, I am a trans nurse. Why is a trans nurse? Or, I want a cis nurse. Like, wasn't that like that? That was that bitch, right? Hold up. Hold up, wait, 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 hold on, 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 hold on. It should not be in the lobby. Hold on, okay, hold on. Oregon. Clinic drops breast cancer patients over gender critical views. Yes, okay, we have the same exact fucking, um, we have the same exact fucking thing. Okay, so so literally, this is from the same fucking article that she's citing to like help like defend her and be like, oh, I thought the trans community was like all for like more healthcare and stuff and healthcare rights and stuff, but here they are trying to do, 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 do canceling a breast cancer patient. I can't fucking believe it. I'm Ariel Scarcella. Barbara explain. Of course, it's a fucking Barbara. Barbara explained that she had written a message to her doctor on my chart a website where patients can access to personal health care or health information, describing that she found the inclusion of political messaging in a healthcare setting as offensive. She, like a growing number of women, has gender critical views. Rejecting modern ideologies that conflate biological sex and gender identity, Barbara mentioned she had for faced Fucked up shit and death threats from trans activists on X, formerly Twitter. I would, you know, I'm sorry. I, I listen. 
trust but verify, but also sources? Do you have screenshots? Many of whom would have identified with that same flag. So, okay, here's the thing. Honestly, this is probably not at all what happened. The rape and death threats that she got from trans activists on Twitter X was probably them being like, hey, you realize that if we lose our rights, they will come after your rights next. And, like, you'll, like, end up getting beat to death by your wife-beating husband who will, like, steal you in marriage like it's not even actual marriage it's more like a kidnapping and he'll rape you every night until you die because that's all women used to be used for and she probably took that as like a rape threat or whatever and a death threat or whatever when really it's just like no this is what's gonna happen to you if you don't like defend us because they will come after you next no different than they're coming after us next because in their eyes anyone who is at all femme related is a slave to the patriarchy okay they will fuck you to death at least that's what i would say you know as like a little reality check for these dumb fuck turfs but you know what uh, apparently apparently there's there's threats if they're actual threats show us and then we'll condemn those people you know i'm not saying that there aren't pieces of shit in the trans community there probably are just like every fucking demographic but like jesus christ proof this June, while attempting to leave a message for her doctor regarding blood test results, the issue continued to escalate. A receptionist at the clinic, who Barbara speculated was trans, did not permit her to be patched through to her doctor. Probably because you're being the equivalent of like, Ooh, your receptionist is a Jew. I no like it. That was my German. Im imitation accent thing. It was terrible, I know. The person insisted on making an appointment. I have breast cancer and consequently an abundance of medical appointments, so I did not want to do that. Uh, they got frustrated with my non-compliance and hung up on me. Or maybe you're just being a bitch. I asked, guessing, did I hurt the trans person's feelings? And the receptionist took offense to the question, asking, what did you say slowly with a great emphasis? She had been discharged from receiving medical care at Richmond Family Medical Clinic. She was uh, specified that she was being removed because of ongoing disrespectful and hurtful remarks about our LGBTQ community and staff. Barbara told Redux that the incident had sent her anxiety through the roof. See, this is... Dude, these fucking... These, these cry bully crocodile fucking tears, bro. I don't give a fuck. Bitch. Like, I don't care. I don't care. Oh, my anxiety is through the roof right now after I called the police on the black guy. Shut the fuck up. I don't care. I don't care. You brought this upon yourself. Maybe if you weren't like a fucking cunt, you wouldn't be having your anxiety shooting through the roof right now. Like, dude, this is where, okay, this is where like I come in with like my sounds conservative, but really isn't hard left stance as far as behavior and uh personality traits are concerned uh maybe like take some responsibility for your fucking actions you dumb bitch like maybe grow the fuck up a little bit maybe like i don't know discipline your mind to like be able to like i don't know see the correlation between your action and their response and it'd be like, oh wow, if I didn't do action A, I wouldn't have gotten fucking response A. If I didn't do action B that followed action A and act and response A, maybe I wouldn't have gotten response B. Like, maybe some self-reflection would help you out and you'd be able to get some fucking help for your fucking cancer, you dumb fuck. Holy shit. Jesus Christ, and mind you, why are we even reading this? I, let's, I don't know, let's fucking remind ourselves, because this dumb fuck decides to fucking talk about this fucking article like as if, like, oh, I thought trans people were for healthcare rights and stuff. I, she was being an asshole. What the fuck do you want? So, okay, 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 okay. So how about this then? How about this? Uh, th 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 let's model the world after what Ariel Scarcella wants, okay? Let's model the world that through the way she wants it to be. And like every every cis guy who's like who like owns a fucking Ford F-150 and like has like a, a a wife at home who's not happy in their marriage and he's just had to whack off for the past seven months, 
no pussy because like he's not romantic at all and like isn't like emotionally available at all for like who he claims to be the love of his life uh who he has like three spoiled brats with and whatnot and they live in the suburbs and he has a pretty good paying job but it's also really monotonous and it doesn't give him purpose in life because he's alienated from capitalism anyways maybe that guy we'll just name him steve could just like walk in to this same clinic and just start like groping nurses asses and like any if they like discontinue their services he'd be like whoa what the fuck yo i have fucking i have ball cancer you got mad because i groped your ass a oh, bitch i have ball cancer i should be able to grab your butt whenever i want i'm not happy in my marriage but uh, but 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 i'm pr pretty sure she would have a problem with that and understandably so and understandably people would have a problem with the way that she's viewing this because i have a problem as any other sane person would with the way that this person fucking was treating the fucking staff at this fucking medical facility what the fuck these people are just trying to get paid to go home and some of them will actually care about their jobs and have a passion for healing people they just they they, they just want to help people and here you are being a fucking piece of shit making it needlessly harder than it needed to be so I don't have fucking empathy, not empathy, sympathy. I don't have sympathy for this dumb fuck here. Whatever, dude, I, uh, good, good job. I'm not glad that you got discharged over this shit, but I do understand why. And I am sad that you don't have the ability of self-awareness to be able to reflect on your actions. That's sad. Whether you agree with transgenderism or not, they should not have the right to take away your health care. I mean, isn't that what the trans community and trans activists are fighting for? The right to do with their body and care for their body the way they deem fit, even if the public might not agree with it? It goes both ways. This is the letter of the lady got from bro. the hospital. This letter is to- Bro, bro, bro. She literally going to bat for this lady. Like, <laughs> like, the, like this lady with breast cancer was like, I did everything right and they indicted me. <laughs> Quite literally. <laughs> if there's any moment to use that sound bite, it's this. I did everything right and they indicted me. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Ariel Scarcella is such a dumb fucking bitch. Anyways, so here's the thing. So this post by Faye, um goes off and she's got a thread of you know kind of like we went in the beginning over here and ariel scarcella after seeing the that and going after all of that and i we don't want to go over all of her content on youtube but there's a plethora of absolute degeneracy on there feel free to check it out and experience brain rot if you want but she comments under this with three hearts and then people start replying we got um <laughs> merrick merrick deville on her very NSFW account, which I um, totally don't follow. Don't uh, ignore that. <laughs> literally, 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 bro. Is Ariel Scarcella a bitch? Absolutely. Yeah. Um. So this is dumb, and I, 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 to be quite frank, like, dude, we all see through your shit. Just please log off, okay? We don't, we don't want to see you anymore, okay? We don't like you. No one likes you, as a matter of fact. Um. I, I, wh how is, how is your family, by the way? Have you talked to them? I love to see you as a policeman. <laughs> I would be arresting so many chuds, I swear. I would be the one cop if I ever decided to, like, downgrade my existence to that, uh, plane of, like, being. I would be the cop that would absolutely just, like, I would only arrest, like, rednecks and hillbillies and, and Trump voters. Uh, that would be it. That would be it. And I would get, like, a call over the radio and be like, <laughs> Uh, 
I, I don't know the numbers of the code, so I'm just going to make them up. Uh, 7157, uh, we have a, an, an A1 steak sauce over on uh, 34th uh, Street and uh, 7th Heaven Avenue. Uh, we have a, an A1 steak sauce uh, happening over uh, thir- 31, 31675 34th Street and 7th Heaven Avenue. Black man. In the media time that I hear black man, I'm like, bro, I'm not going. <laughs> no, sorry. I'm not going. I'm not going to be on the news. Y'all do that if y'all want, okay? My sirens are going the other way. Out in the fucking boonies where you got incest. <laughs>